my friends. I am currently in a state park in eastern Tennessee. We will be heading closer to Nashville tomorrow, so just a couple days out from market, but I am finally getting around to doing a recap video of the Floss Tube at Sea Cruise that I took in January. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the places we went, the things we did, the wonderful times we had in the Stitcher Maker Room, and just show you the amazing ship. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you have any questions. Jean is going to be taking sign up starting, I believe tomorrow, the 24th, for the 2025 Floss Tube at Sea Cruise. And I will put the information to register for that down below if any of you are interested. And I hope after seeing this video that I will get some of you to um, join in the fun because it really is just an amazing time. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this. I'll talk Talk to you later. Our departure from Fort Lauderdale was a very windy and rainy one. We tried to take a bit of a walk up on the top deck um, for sail away and it really wasn't very pleasant. <laughs> but it did lead to a beautiful sunset and the things calmed down quite a bit after that. We did have a really fun smalls exchange on the cruise. We did it as a Chinese gift exchange and if you've never done one of those, basically you either take an unopened gift from the table or you can steal from something that you've seen before, um, something that somebody else had gotten. So it was, it was fun, it was funny many times. Um, and it was just it was just a lot of fun. And as you can see, this is the um, the smalls that were exchanged. A lot of really really pretty pretty projects. After dinner every evening, Mike and I would go up to the top decks again, get an after dinner drink and some after dinner ice cream, and just find a place to kind of hang out and take in these areas that during the day were so crowded. But at nighttime, everybody was down below in the bars partying so we could find some quiet places up on the top and just kind of relax and enjoy some time together away from the maddening crowd, as it were. And of course, the lights and the decor um, at night were just, <laughs> just crazy. So these are some shots of, of all that. and a look at the same areas during the day. Mm -hmm. 
Our first stop was San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is showing the approach to the island. This is the old fort that's on the tip of the island. I will be showing you more of that later because Mike and I did walk up there. And just coming around the coming into the harbor of San Juan. Mike and I spent all of the that evening, afternoon and evening, wandering around um, Old Town San Juan. If you know anything about me, if you've been around for a while, you know that I love old doors, old windows, grungy, <laughs> grungy textured things. And Old Town San Juan was just full of them. So, and of course the colors, the colors are amazing there. So just enjoy these pictures of some of the places that we've seen. There is a large feral cat population in San Juan. It's probably true of many island places. It certainly was in Hawaii as well. This area in particular seems to be doing what they can to try and find homes for these wild cats. And so there, there was a, there was a lot of care. There was food set out. There was a, a little what looked like a, a building where, where they have some kind of cat rescue facility. But this, this area, this was just by the fort. Um, there were just all these cats and I think it's because they're, they're supported there. As you can see, this is the entrance to the, the old fort in San Juan. Um, it is a National Historic Site. We were there just in time to see this gorgeous sunset. This is looking away from the fort down the other side of the island. Beautiful, beautiful area. Was time to head back to the ship and we would sit, sail that night to our next stop have some shots here of the city of San Juan lit up at night and then sailing away from the, the city and you'll see the fort with the nighttime lights on it the next morning in Tortola, which is part of the British Virgin Islands. 
another gorgeous turquoise sea mountainous area um, you can see all the different little islands around it um, a nice little stop we didn't do any excursions but we did get off the ship and wander through the town so here are some pictures of that We were greeted with a beautiful rainbow the next morning at our next stop at on the island of St. Kitts, the town of Basseterre. And it set the tone for just a beautiful day for our various groups at the Carabelle Batik Workshop. This Batik Workshop is on the Romney Estate. The estate used to be a sugarcane plantation and it is now a, um, a workshop for creating batik and we had the opportunity not only to visit it and walk the beautiful grounds but also to take advantage of an opportunity to learn how to make batik. So I'm going to just stop here and let you enjoy the beauty that is this uh, Romney estate.
time for sail away from St. Kitts and to start heading back to Fort Lauderdale. It was an amazing time visiting these different islands, but it was time to head home. But just because it was time to head home did not mean that it was time for the fun to stop. We still had two full sea days and we had a lot of fun on them. Part of the fun was at the Effie Jewelry Store. They had raffles every night for jewelry. Our group won a couple of the nights at least. We also, I think, spent enough money that they hosted a private champagne get together for us. I think I just missed her bumping. <laughs> your anniversary and just getting out of the house in a cruise vacation. <laughs> but it's always a great opportunity to celebrate. And Jean, you're gonna be the responsible to give to one of your fellows cruisers the opportunity to win a jewelry pin. So there is no pressure, no pressure at all. Go Jean! Just for the record, out of the five events we have done this cruise, you've been four winners of this cruise. <laughs> that much time you spend in here, people will take the last minute. Virgie, you stay with me, you stay with me right here, just to make sure I'm calling the right number. Remember, my accent is doing very well. All right, so Jim, you're going to be the one telling the numbers today. And you know the rules, right? Every correct number? Yes! Every correct number, oh shit. All right, let's get a better deal with it. Hey. Right. Come on, let's get a round of applause. You can tell this group is full of winners. Let it come again. back in Fort Lauderdale early in the morning. You can see that several other ships had beat us to the harbor. It was a fantastic week and I highly encourage if you have a chance to go on one of the Floss Tube at Sea cruises or any of Jean's other cruises that you take advantage of it. Wonderful, wonderful time. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys take care of yourselves. I will be back probably after market to give you a recap of that amazing time. Until then, you guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.